All right, ladies and gentlemen of the 118 scale action figure community, G.I. Joe Marauders, Vitruvian Hacks, um, Acid Toy, Acid Rain Toys, and the other one is Joy Toys, and a few others out there. Um, if you notice, um, these are my three APCs. I've customized them. Um, they, they're all three different colors, of course you can see that. And um, I just want to let you guys know exactly what I did with them. And I want to customize them so that they actually do fit um, newer four inch scale figures. With that being said, um, the one in the middle I'm going to start with. If you notice, all three of my APCs have Marauder Task Force Insignia on the front. And um, that's because Marauders is an awesome uh, toy line and I really like what they did with the 118 scale or 4 inch scale action figure line when it was dropped by you know who so um yeah with that being said this is my APC um, this is the most customized one that I've done as opposed to the other two um, this one does not have any paint it's still natural uh, color from the factory and um still sticker sheet the stickers are still original and there may be one or two stickers on there that i uh, added so this apc if you notice um in any apc as it comes from factory it has a preset arranged seating inside or i guess i can say a preset seating arrangement inside where um, there's about, I think it's 18 seats, and then you have a row of foot pegs. Um, of course, if you are collecting more modern action figures, and um, you know that those foot pegs and those that seating arrangement won't work for those figures because they're either too big or too small. So what I've done was I gutted that whole interior section out, and as you can see, I replaced the flooring and I made this little bench area right here and um, that is so um, it could accommodate uh, four inch figures better. I could have um, measured that out and cut that divot out too but no, I'd rather had kept that there um, that I was thinking of making a, gun, a gunner position they'll sit lower if they're standing at a gun. And um, I just like that a little more. So maybe in due time, I'll I'll um, measure that out and cut it in. Also, you'll see I have on the rear these two gas cans. I'll tell you where I got them from in a second. Um, but yeah, they fit perfectly with my 4-inch figures. At the bottom here, you'll see I have these tow hooks that I've added. See those little black tow hooks and I also have a tow hook that is capable of towing any uh, GI Joe or or 118 scale 4 inch scale action figure towable equipment and um, pretty much it works for me this tow hook is actually from the GI Joe hammer what I did was I got it and I pretty much taped it on with 20 pound sticky tape double-sided sticky tape and it works it works perfect you see that thing's not going to come off of there i can tow i can do all kind of things with that and it still stays in place i also use double-sided sticky tape here on these gas cans um these gas cans just like these tow hooks the tow hooks are actually glued on, by the way. You see them there. There are these little squares there that actually mount up to them perfectly. So I'll, I, I glued them onto those squares and they work perfect, just like that. So with that being said, these tow hooks and the gas cans can all be purchased on eBay. Um, and I know a lot of you have mixed emotions and mixed feelings about eBay, but um, it actually is they're super cheap they're not expensive at all but you can get those tow hooks those gas cans and you can get pelican boxes I'll show you those 
the Pelican boxes, which I picked up two of those, two sets of the Pelican boxes. They come three in a set. And that's pretty much what you get right there. They come in different colors like um, orange, red, black, and yellow, I think. So with that being said, you if you go on eBay and you're interested in purchasing some of this stuff, um, all you have to do is look on, all you have to do is type in one 110 scale RC car parts and it'll bring up a host of things that are actually a little bit bigger than the GI Joe line, but they work very well with the vehicles and they actually work very well with the figures. So um, you'll find things like I just described, the tow hooks, the gas cans, these Pelican boxes. You'll also find things like um, mounting brackets. You'll find um, <clears throat> broom shovels. You also find coolers, um, water, water jugs, uh, a whole host of things. So with that being said, this particular APC is more of a cargo transport, and um, that's why I like it like this. This this one does not have a canopy. And I like to keep it like this. This is more or less like a work truck type of deal. It is a it is a equipment transport. That being said, um, there's also customization up front. I kept the overall uh, driver front panel with the steering wheel and everything like that. I just kind of cut it around so that it would still fit but I needed to be able to customize the rest of it that was the only part I wanted to keep um, if you see here I put these two seats up front I could have painted them but they actually work really well I don't really worry about painting them um, <clears throat> actually four inch figures fit in there which is really cool because you know the old setup four inch figures didn't fit all right, as you see, a modern figure will fit inside. And this is a four inch modern figure. And we'll slap them on in there. And as you see, there it is. He fits. And you can also fit a second figure inside of there. And in the back, grab out barbecue here, modern barbecue. This is how he would stand in those divots that I described earlier. If he's a gunner, at least he has that protection there. And this is how they look standing up in the back. I'm gonna stand up. Oh man, they, oh, right. So there you have it. Okay. So now let's discuss the other actual troop transport APCs. These have been painted and um, you can interchange them. Like you can use the black canopy over the green body or the green uh, front cover over the black body. It's in interchangeable. Maybe I'll do some of that while we talk. But anyway, um, as you notice, these are still, there's not a whole lot added to them wheels have been painted the bodies have been painted and um, <clears throat> yeah pretty much uh, if you look here at the top there are no canopies of course you know what those go for these days but actually I'm not interested in the canopies anymore I was more interested in the turret position so with that being said these turrets are pretty much tin shot cups that I have put in place and both of them have that um, also if you look on the back same deal as the other um, I got the tow hooks and I got the GI Joe hammer tow hook on both of them those tow hooks down there um, yeah and this one has the canopy and I also put that meshing protection cover back there because you know it was open before and you can visualize those guys sitting back there getting capped and that's not cool so I put up some mesh protection for those guys and um 
A lot of people ask me how I do the mesh uh, covers. You can use that stuff for anything. You can use it for windows. You can use it for um, walls, fences. You can use it for like the back area here. This is pretty much what it looks like. It comes in whole um, sheets like the size of loose leaf paper. And you just cut it with scissors. And you can cut it right to what you want it to be. Right? Um, of course, this is not going to stick because I'm just putting it up there. But yeah, that's pretty much what you do with it. Um, inside, I also have some lighting inside. Let me grab this. If you see the lights in there, you just flip that over and you get a very brightly lit interior cab space. Oh. Let me show you what that's going to look like. It's not easy doing all this stuff with one hand. See, that's pretty much what it looks like. And um, those you can get from Lowe's, um, AutoZone, and it's pretty much these lights, these button lamps. And they're pretty cool. Um, I actually got a whole sheet of them. And now they sell them like three, but I had a whole sheet of them where it was like six or or eight, something like that. So be on the lookout for that. And the cool part about those is if they die, they die. You just peel them off, put a new one on. All right. All right. These two are identical. As in, there's really no customization going on on the inside. They were just pretty much painted. because, And I painted them because when I got them, they really didn't look that great. So it was, you know, it, it was pretty much when I bought them, they were a custom job anyway. Uh, that's what my thought process was. I was going to customize them. So yeah. Um, there you go more Marauder Insignia. They all have it. And um, here you go. This is the other one. Not much going on inside of there. This right here also, this is like a, a, um, a you drape this over your equipment. Like if you have things back there and you don't want it to fall out in a as you guys are traveling or whatever you would wrap that back there so that your equipment doesn't fall out All right so like i like i promised i would do some swapping up of colors and there you have it that's what it would look like with swapped colors All right excellent so here's the part of the game where we discuss what I actually use. So if you guys, if you guys were taking a long bumpy trip over some rough terrain, you can lock your equipment down with that mesh, right? Excellent. With that being said, that uh, wire mesh, or I guess you can call it um, the netting. Gas cans, tow hooks, those pelican boxes, different water water jugs. Um, then you also have like uh, ice coolers. You can either get bottled water, brooms, all this different stuff to tack on there for your troop um, equipment carrier. You can get all that from 110 scale RC car parts on eBay. You just type that in and a whole host of things will come out. Secondly... This is the lighting that I use for both APCs. And um, this pack right here probably costs about $4. And you can pretty much peel it. They have double-sided sticky tape on them. So you can just, if they die, you peel them off, put another one on. Right? The paint I used on them is this. Camouflage paint. Rust-Oleum. Um, the one with the black can the one with the black cap is the black color the one with the green cap is the green color some other things that i've gotten into working on 
uh, surveillance monitors. I've been doing a couple of those. These surveillance monitors, um, you can buy them from Hobby Lobby. It's about seven bucks a monitor. They come with stands, but I mostly cut the stands off. But if the uh, if it's for sale, I won't cut the the stand off, and that's what it looks like with the stand on. I don't cut the stand off of ones that are for sale. If that's what you want and you request it, then I can cut it off for you. But I'll just sell it to you as it is, and you can cut the stand off. Or like I said, I'll cut it off if you request it. Um, here, this is what I use to make the back wire meshing for the protection covers in the back of the uh, canopied APCs. Right? And um, you can buy these monitors, this wire meshing. Um, and uh, some other stuff. Uh, Hobby Lobby has a bunch of stuff you can use. Just uh, go to Hobby Lobby and check them out. This stuff is called um, plastic canvas. And you see a sheet of it costs 75 cents. They sell it in all different colors. I've seen it in blue, yellow, red, black. This one is just a basic white color. Um, this is silver. Then you have um, you have the black color that I use. All that can be purchased at Hobby Lobby. And like I said, if you want to customize with that, you can just cut it with scissors. Um, I've also done weapon walls with it. One of my guns keep falling off, but that's pretty much what my weapon wall is gonna look like. Just put that there. And of course, one of my guns fell off. I just usually use like a, kind of like a, not an epoxy, like a rubber grip that can just pretty much be removed whenever I want to remove it. You can use a hot glue gun to stick the weapons on there because that stuff is not permanent. So that's why I use that. Cool. And I cut it down to size, put some cardboard, glued it in, then glued these uh, wooden sticks over the top of them. That's how that works. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. I've been making pallets. Um, those are, that's not my best one that I've made. But it's one of the worst. Let's see. Um, See, I've made quite a few of them. This is something that I've been playing with, just trying to get them right. They're not as easy as they look. But that's pretty much what I have there. And um, it is made so that you can grab it with a pallet jack. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the 110 scale action figure community. That is pretty much all I have for you. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free to drop the comments at the bottom. I'll try to respond to them as I can um, and as I see them. Um, that's, that's it for now. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe. Excellent. Later.